Hello friends, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to download and install Ipsen L3216 printer driver in a Windows 7 PC or laptop. It is a very easy and simple process. So let's go to our video. First, we check our PC or laptop is 32 bit or 64 bit. That is very easy to check it. Go to the computer, right click on the computer, click on the properties. In properties, find system type. If system type is 32 bit, then your machine is 32 bit operating system. If system type is 64 bit, then your machine is 64 bit operating system machine. This machine is 32 bit operating system machine. Close it. Next step is download the our printer driver. Go to the any web browser that you want. I am going to the Google Chrome. And here type download Ipsen L3216 printer driver and hit enter key on your keyboard. First link is from the Ipsen. Open the first link. Here we find our Ipsen official website. Here we find Ipsen L3216, our printer name. Scroll down and here we find operating system. If your operating system is not automatically detected, then go to the here and select Windows 7 32 bit if your machine is 32 bit. If your machine is 64 bit, then go to the Windows 7 64 bit. My machine is Windows 7 and bit is 32 bit, so I select Windows 7. 32 bit and here you find one go button click on the go button page goes to the refresh and new drivers are appear on our screen scroll down and here we find drivers click on this plus button expand drivers click on this plus button scroll down here we find our scanner driver this is a series of this printer l3210 in this printer our printer name l3216 is also included go to the scanner driver and then we download the printer driver. So I go to the scanner driver first, go to the downloads, click on download or right click on it and click on the open link in new tab. And new web browser is open, click on the accept and our download is started at here. It takes few seconds to complete download. So wait for a few seconds to download to complete it. Wait for a few seconds. Our download is completed. Here we find our download is completed now. Go to the show all. Show in a folder, minimize it and drag this setup file to desktop, close it. Next step is download the, our printer driver. That is also very simple. Go to the web browser once again, close this, close this. Go to the, our main web page, scroll down, expand drivers and go to the printer drivers. Here we find our printer driver and click on this download button. And it's redirect to another page, click on the accept. And our download is started at here. It takes few seconds to download to complete. Our download is completed now. Click on show all, show in a folder and drag this setup file to desktop. Close it. Here is the, our printer setup file and here is the, our scanner setup file. This printer setup file is a actually zip file and we are going to extract this zip file or unzip this zip file. Right click on it, click on the extract files Click on the OK. New folder is created on the our uh, Windows 7. Double click on the desktop on our folder. Double click on this folder. Double click on it. And here we find our drivers. And we are going to install these drivers. We are going to install this manually. It is the best way to install printer in Windows 7. Go to the start. And click on the control panel. Click on the control panel. In control panel, click on the devices and printers. Click on devices and printers. In devices and printers, at the top, we find add a printer. Click on the add a printer. Double click on the add a printer. Wait for a few seconds. Minimize this. Here we find add a printer options. We want to add a printer. To, so I go to the first option, add a local printer. If you want to network or wireless, then go to the here. I want to add a local. So I click on add a local printer. Here we find existing port. Existing port is the most IMP part in this installation. Click at here. And if you find any USB port, USB 001, USB 002, 003, 004, select any USB port that you find. Select your USB port. Click on the next. Here we find have a disk. Click on have a disk. Click on the browse. Go to the desktop. Go to the newly extracted folder. Double click on it. Double click on it. Double click on it. Here we find some files. Click on any file. These all files are the our drivers file. Select any file. Click on the open. Click on the OK. Here we find Ipsen L3210 series. 
दिस इज एन सीरीज ऑफ द आवर एल थ्री टू वन जीरो एंड आवर प्रिंटर एल थ्री टू वन सिक्स इज ऑल्सो इंक्लूड इन दिस सीरीज प्रिंटर हेर इज द वन प्रॉब्लम दिस ड्राइवर इज नॉट डिजिटली साइन एंड इट इज एन नॉट वेरी आई एम पी प्रॉब्लम वी सॉल्व दिस इन फ्यू सेकंड क्लिक ऑन द नेक्स्ट हेर वी फाइन प्रिंटर नेम यू कैन गिव एनी प्रिंटर नेम दैट यू वॉन्ट आई गिव द इप्सन एल थ्री टू वन सिक्स एंड क्लिक ऑन द नेक्स्ट एंड इंस्टॉलेशन प्रोसेस इज स्टार्टेड एरर इज अपेयर हेर वी फाइन द एरर इफ टू एर इज अपेयर do the same things that i can do first error is windows cannot verify the publisher of this driver software and the solution is install this software driver software anyway click on install this software anyway if any other error is appear click on install this software anyway it's take few seconds to install our printer wait for a few seconds our printer is now installed if you want to print a test page then click on a print a test page or click on the finish Next step is install our scanner driver. That is very also simple. Go to the here and double click on the our scanner file or right click on it and click on run as an administrator. Click on the yes. Wait for a few seconds and installation is started. Click on the next. Accept the terms and condition. Click on the next. Wait for a few seconds. Our installation is started. It's take few seconds. Click on install this software anyway. We want to install this software anyway. it is an error and we solve this by the install this software anyway wait for few seconds our installation process is done click on the finish our scanner part is done our scanner is installed next step is check our printer is properly installed or not that is very easy go to the start click on the control panel click on the devices and printers in devices and printers if you find ipsan l3216 that means your printer is properly installed and it's work 110% on your windows 7 pc or laptop so guys thank you for watching this video don't forget to like share comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you guys